Hey, this is Mark from Run Testers, and in this video, we're going to be talking about road to trail shoes or hybrid running shoes as sometimes they're known as. So, what exactly is a road to trail shoe? Well, essentially, it is one shoe that can work on road and pavements, but can also work on off road and more traily routes and will enable you to transition between the two surfaces as well in a very kind of effortless manner. So, you're looking for that kind of feel of a road running shoe, but also kind of an outsole and a bit of protection that gives you something that works on the trails as well. Well, and then you don't feel those elements when you're back running on roads. Now, myself and some of the other members of the Run Tester team have tested a lot of these shoes. So what we thought we'd do is pick out the ones that have kind of really stood out for us, the kind of terrain, the kind of, you know, you know, runs that it works best for us and, you know, hopefully give you some ideas and some shoes that you could potentially use, you know, in a kind of traily park run when you need to kind of run on road and get back. Ultimately, uh, something you can take on a holiday and it's one shoe that can work where you don't know what the terrain is going to be like. So if it's a mixture of road and trail, that's a shoe that can do that for you as well. So, yeah, hopefully we can give you a little bit of inspiration and some kind of shoes that work really well for us and they will work well for you too. So, yeah, let's get into it. These are our top road to trail shoes to buy. So my road to trail pick is the Innovate Parklaw G280. It's one of the more traily road to trail shoes in that the grip it has on the outsole really does work very well on a variety of trails. Like it's very rare that I'm going to be on terrain that I wouldn't be confident going onto with this graphene grip outsole that it has here with pretty substantial lugs, but they're quite closely spaced together, and that's why it's also comfortable on the road. Like when we got this shoe in, I really thought it was going to be a trail shoe when it, it was called a road to trail shoe. I didn't think it was going to be very comfortable on the road at all, but it defies expectations. It's a very comfortable shoe on the road, even if you're on the road for extended periods or doing your entire run on the road i find that it's comfortable it's got really padded and comfortable upper like, there's a case of saying there's too much padding especially on the tongue of this shoe but i like it it feels very comfortable most of the time if i'm doing a road to trail run i'm out at a relaxed pace just you know exploring or mooching around and i like a big padded upper it might be a bit hot in some countries but it's perfectly fine around the uk and it's got a little bit of protection on the on the upper there as well which again is you know, maybe a bit much more than you might need from a road trail shoe like it does very much veer into full trail shoe territory but it's appreciated because if i'm doing road to trail i'm mostly going to go into my local forest and the terrain like at times of year can be a little bit more uh, muddy or treacherous or rooty than i expect going in even in you know in the area around me like even today i went to the forest and it was a lot muddier and slipperier than i expected and and this is very much a shoe that i pull on with confidence every single time that whatever i'm going to go and do wherever i'm going to run it's going to be comfortable it's going to grip well and you don't have to worry about that like it's also reasonably light given the quite impressive outsole and the and the padding on the upper there it's not a light shoe but you can run a bit quicker in it so it does work for a nice variety of training and it's also comfortable over the long haul like you are there are more cushioned shoes out there for road to trail and i think something like the hoka challenger 7 or the nike pegasus uh trail it is a little bit more comfortable if you're just spending a very long period on the road but the grip is a lot better with this shoe um, and it really will allow you to explore more trails with your road to trail shoe than most of the other options out there i got a couple of shoes i really like uh, i do think the puma fast track nitro is a very good value trail shoe around 100 pounds it's it's got a firmer ride than the other road to trail shoes uh, i've mentioned there but that that does make it a little bit more responsive if you're going to try and run fast in particular but i think if you're looking for a, a shoe that's very comfortable for extended periods on the road i'd look at one of the other shoes like the innovate or the nike or the hoka challenger 7 it is a really good bargain that puma shoe and it has got very good grip but yeah overall my favorite is the park lord g280 just, just a shoe that you could pull on for runs on really any terrain from road to quite technical trails and it's going to be comfortable and grip pretty reliably So as alluded to in our running shoe rotations video that is up on the channel, a road to trail shoe is a pretty important shoe in my collection. Um, if I have to get to the trails, I do have to go and run out to them. It's kind of over a mile to kind of get to those trails. Um, and two shoes that really work for me have been the Innovate Park or G280 and the Night Pegasus Trail 4. Those are the ones that really kind of stood out for me. And if I had to pick one, I would probably veer on going for the Nike Pegasus Trail 4. Now, the reason I say that, I think first and foremost, it is a shoe that I feel comfortable I could probably take on holiday and wear just generally when I'm kind of walking around, but it is something I could use for kind of running on road and on trails as well. Now, in terms of the fit, it's kind of very narrow fitting, which works well for me in terms of uh, my foot. Um, I think you're getting a really kind of nice kind of comfortable upper. What you'd expect from Nike in terms of giving you a kind of nice kind of uh, level of comfort in terms of that upper and a good lockdown as well. Um, 
In terms of the feel of running in the shoe, obviously you've got Nike's React um, cushioning here, so not the Zoom X stuff, which is a little bit softer, uh, a little bit more bouncy, but I do think you get something pretty responsive here, which gives you the ability to run a little bit quicker in this shoe as well, to mix up those kind of paces in terms of this shoe. And I think you've got an outsole that works pretty well and kind of, kind of light, kind of moderate, kind of technical kind of trails as well. Definitely better on dry surfaces, I would say. I think it probably struggles a little bit more kind of wetter kind of terrain, but for me, ultimately, it works very, very well. Now, as I said, if I was looking for one shoe that actually I could put on wear uh, when I'm going away, I could, you know, con you know, put it back on for when I want to run on road and I want to run on trail. I think this transitions between the two surfaces very, very well. Gives you that kind of feeling of a, of a Nike road running shoes like the Pegasus. And then you've got that kind of trail, um, that kind of more um, trail specific kind of outsole that I think doesn't, you know, doesn't feel hard underneath on your feet when you're back on road. So for me, I would go for Nike Pegasus trail for I know, really do like the Innovate Parkour G280 as well. I think the ride maybe is a little bit nicer, a little bit more bouncy and lively in comparison. I think the same level of trails is kind of what I would use this for with the like I do with the Pegasus Trail 4. Um, I think the outsole is a bit stronger in terms of kind of more varied terrain. So those would maybe be a reason to go for this. But ultimately, I think, you know, I would prefer to wear this um, wear it more kind of generally walking around but also if I want to kind of take one shoe away with me well I don't know whether the terrain is like or whether it might be a mix of road and trail nothing too technical then this is the road to trail shoe that I'd pick the Nike Pegasus Trail 4. So my first pick for road to trail shoes is the Asics Fuji Light 3. Now I absolutely love this shoe. Um, I used it quite a lot when I was training for Chicago Marathon. And what I tended to do was I'd get the train out to a town that was about 30k away and then I'd run back so there'd be about 10-15k just on the road and then there'd be 15k over the South Downs. Now the road sections, it just felt great. It just, it just delivered like a, a lightweight feeling, comfortable road shoe. The cushioning that sits in it is just very nice, very very nice and light, and and just really keeps your feet feeling comfortable. It's uh, it's quite a soft midsole foam, um, so on the road it's perfect. I I could happily use this shoe as a road shoe and not have any issues. Also feels quite nippy as well. Like you can really pick up the pace in this shoe, and there's no issues at all. It's not heavy, clumpy trail shoe like some that you can get. Now when I hit the trails on it, the downs is a bit of a mix of trails. So you tend to get fields, you can get muddy paths, you can get public footpaths, there's some harder sections, there's a bit of rocky stuff in there. And what I found is that it works very well on all of those things. It's not by no means an aggressive trail shoe. I think if you are on really wet mud, if you're on slippy rocks, I wouldn't use this shoe um, just because it hasn't got enough to it. Also, it doesn't have a rock plate in it. It's a very flexible, natural feeling shoe. So if you're running on rocky surfaces with lots of pointy rocks and you want to protect your feet, this this won't do it. It's, it's really for those easier trails where you're not gonna be uh, hurting your feet if you get rocks on the side or in, in the bottom where something just presses up because there's not loads of cushioning in it and there's not a lot of protection from that midsole. But other than that, it's just a great shoe to have. I definitely say it's worth picking up if you the sort of person that maybe does a park run that isn't on road, uh, one of the more tricky park runs that can be on public footpaths and things like that. I think this is great for it. And I've done loads of uh, nice runs on the downs where I could really go quite fast in this shoe. It feels very nice and lightweight and nippy. And it just, you don't feel it on your feet when you're running uh, up uphill and things like that. So I think it's just a great, great option for people that want a really accessible easy trail to road shoe. My final pick is the Innovate Trailfly G7 V2 trail shoe. I always get that slightly wrong. Now this is a little bit um, more aggressive. It's actually got an outsole that uses um, the graphene grip outsole that Innovate have on uh, most of their shoes, if not all of them. Um, the, and it's, it's a bit more aggressive. So it's better at dealing with mud. It's better at gripping onto slippy wet surfaces little bit firmer, uh, a little bit harder, so it protects your feet nicely. Um, but surprisingly, I did find that this shoe is actually um, pretty lightweight and nimble as well. I've, I've, I did a pretty fast run across the trails in it the other day, uh, across the South Downs, and it felt great. I've, I didn't feel like I was wearing a, a clumpy trail shoe. Um, so it's a really nice balance of um, feeling like a lightweight, nice, comfortable shoe, uh, but also having a lot of protection in it as well. And the thing I would say about this as a road to trail shoe is that when I first saw these, I thought these the, the lugs aren't massive on it, but I did think that 
it looks a little bit more aggressive than what I'd usually use on the road. Some of the shoes that I've got, like the uh, Salomon Speedcross uh, 6, I think, is um, I just hate running on the road in that because it's, it's quite a firm, hard outsole, just not very comfortable to run on the road. These are actually fine. This graphene grip is actually it's quite soft in comparison to some um, trail shoes and doesn't feel noticeable when you're out on the road. Definitely wouldn't use this as much as the other two shoes that I've picked on the road. So I think I could probably do up to 10K in this shoe fine, not a problem. Uh, but I do know it's a trail shoe when I'm running in it on the road. This is a trail shoe, um, but it does feel really comfortable. The the midsole foam in it is nice, is, is not too firm, there's a bit of softness to it very comfortable to run in uh, on the road. So I'd say I got to 10K in this on the road without having any issues. I wouldn't prefer it to a road shoe, but uh, if I'm going out on the trails, this is a great option uh, to have for both of those things as well. Equally, if you just want a really good trail shoe, this is a great option as well. So this really ticks a lot of boxes for me. It's a fantastic shoe. Uh, it's just not an amazingly enjoyable road shoe. So I've picked a road to trail shoe that I know is going to be a little bit controversial. I can hear your wallets creaking. I can hear groans happening because this one's up there. It's the pricier end, much, much pricier end of the road to trail kind of market. This is the North Face Vective Pro. It's £225 in the UK, $250 in the US. So this is a very expensive shoe. No getting away from that. But there are some really nice things that I like about it. I mean, this is the latest, one of the latest sort of shoes to hit the market with the carbon plate in it, a carbon plate trail shoe, which we're seeing a lot more of. And you know, from the get-go, you can kind of see this has got quite a kind of road shoe sort of design. We've got this kind of massive high stack of a sort of softer, cushioned, springier uh, P-Bax blend kind of super foam. Works with a carbon plate in there that's forked. Some people haven't gotten on with that fork. I found it absolutely fine. You've got three and a half mil lugs underneath. So they're sort of slightly sort of shallower lugs, but for the kind of road to trail work that I do, those are plenty grippy enough. I'm talking about kind of, it's more sort of river paths and um, you know, sort of forest trails, that kind of thing, rather than kind of anything particularly steep. And it handles those really well. I've also put it through on some coast paths as well, which might be a bit steeper and it did a good job. But crucially kind of on the road bit, those lugs work really nicely. And that big stack of foam is nice and cushioned. The uppers are nice and roomy. I think these are kind of very, very comfortable. There's a lot of similarities here to a road shoe in terms of the overall design. I've run in worse road shoes on the road than this performs as a road shoe. And I think that's really interesting. That said, I think for me, it's worked on the trails as well. You've obviously got a much bigger stack here. It's got a six mil drop, but you're talking about a 32, 25 mil stack kind of heel to four foot. And that's quite a big stack when you're thinking about kind of a trail shoe. You've also got quite an exaggerated rocker design. One thing I did worry about was on the trails, how stable is this gonna be when you start to hit the real uneven stuff? But for me, it's been absolutely fine. I think there's there's enough stability there. I think it's just quite a lively, fun shoe to, to hit across the trails in. And yeah, it can cope with all those bits when you know when the trails get compact or you come into the sort of towns when you're on the roads. I just think it's got quite a good balance of those two things, but particularly for the kind of trails that I run and the kind of running that I do where, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite often I'm doing kind of three or four miles to get to a trail and then I'm running on trails that are still quite firm. They're not too slippy, not too muddy. And so I'm looking for something that's giving me a little bit more back. I'm not necessarily going over anything that's particularly kind of steep and rocky and, and really, really technical in my day-to-day -day running, though I do think this shoe can handle that as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a road trail shoe that's a bit soft, a bit more responsive, then the North Face Vective Pro might well be it. Yeah, so while the New Balance Vective Pro is one of my favorite road to trail shoes, obviously expensive, there are other shoes that I've run in that I really enjoy for this kind of run as well. The Hoka have got a whole stack of them. I think you know, the Speed Go is a really, really good shoe, great value for money, can handle road and trail, it handles exactly the kind of trails that I've just been mentioning. I think another one that was surprised me was the Hoka Challenger 7. I thought that was a really good shoe as well. Uh, it's probably not as sort of sprightly maybe as the Speed Goat. I'd probably go Speed Goat if I was looking to go a little bit fast, a bit more nimble. Obviously then there's the Hoka Tecton X, which is a slightly kind of punchier version of the Speed Goat as well. I'd probably keep that to something where I was maybe sort of racing. For me, between the Speed Goat and the Tecton X, I don't think there's a huge amount of sort of difference. So if you're on a budget, I don't think you're going to get a whole lot less in the Speed Goat 5, and that'd be the one that I'd probably choose over and above. I think, I've, you know, the New Balance Yero range, I think the, I think we're on V7 now. That, that shoe as well, really nice and kind of sort of amount of softness for the road sections, good grip durability for the trail section. That's another one that I think is up there. So those would be my kind of picks. I think we're gonna see a lot more shoes that take a bit of road DNA or a little bit of that kind of idle sort of road comfort and, and road approach and bring it to the trail and try and make 
trail shoes, I guess a little bit less clumpy and clunky than they might have been if you go back sort of three or four years. And with the, you know, shoes like this effective, if we're starting to see that, I'm excited to see what else comes along. But those have been my sort of top picks for the road to trail. Okay, so there you have it. Those are our top road to trail shoe picks from the team. Hopefully we've given you a little bit of inspiration of the types of shoes that are out there and the shoes that have worked really well for us. Now, if you've got any questions about any of the shoes mentioned in this video, do let us know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe, hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos. And yeah, we'll see you for the next Run Testers video.